the only place in this country where we're still seeing the ANC win reasonably in a convincing fashion is in the Eastern Cape. And those people there, I, I'll repeat this point, and it'll sound mean, but I really I don't care. It's analysis. Uh, deal with it. <laughs> Facts don't give a, a damn about your feelings. Um, the only part of the country where we're seeing the ANC still retain a stubborn st uh, uh, a vote base is in the Eastern Cape. And I put it to you that as things collapse even further and crumble, and those folks then do what they do all the time, which is to then, you know, protest and throw a hissy fit, I think you're going to see more parts of the country simply not have any sympathy for people in that part of the world. I think that's just going to be a simple equation where the rest of the country who have made that leap away from the ANC, whether they did it by actively voting in that direction or they did it as ANC supporters who chose not to come out and vote in order to register their disappointment. Um, I think quite simply, those people who've made that leap, I want to say, to hell with you in the, ES in the Eastern Cape or to hell with you who chose your ANC oppressors, you deal with them, we don't give a damn. We're dealing with a coalition here or we're dealing with what has been a change in government. So that for me is a bit of a worry insofar as, you know, it's going to drive a bit of a wedge between South Africans. But if it, if it, hey man, if, if, Kesara Sara, what will be will be, man. That's just the, the, the simple truth of the matter. I think people had an opportunity in this election to make that decision. And if you stuck with the ANC, then Kesara Sara, homie, deal with it.